Let me show you one of the best builds that you can use in the mists. And I'm telling you, it doesn't need to be an 8.3 build. It doesn't need to be an 8.4 build. We're talking about a 6.1 build. 500k to 600k at most. And you can wreck people like there's no tomorrow literally there's no tomorrow for whoever dares to pick a fight with you while you're playing this build if you know what you're doing in what you're seeing right now i'm gonna try to make sure that you will know what you're doing the build that i'm talking about is this one right here the build itself goes like this hunter hood with the third spell first passive now i feel the need to explain those abilities as they came up so i don't overwhelm you what does the hunter hood do think of the hunter hood as mainly doing two things it increases your resistance by quite a lot actually for four seconds that's making you take less damage actually and it also reflects 100 of the damage that you take now the order of those two things is very important because for example if this first increases your resistance then the damage that you reflect even though it's 100 of them of the damage that you take it's going to be a little bit less because you take less damage thanks to the resist but no they go in the other way around they first reflect 100 of the damage and then they apply the resistance now for you all of those things, like both of those things happen at the same second, in the same exact time. But uh, in terms of game mechanics and what the game keeps track of, you actually reflect first, then you start with the resistance increase. Now this passive, this is normally the passive that you want to use for whatever build that uses leather armor or leather helmets. There are some exceptions, but generally you want to stick with this passive. This passive makes you deal more damage and it increases your defenses by a little bit. And then you have the mercenary jacket. Now, what does this do? This makes it so every single time you deal direct damage, so non-dot damage, you will heal for 119 HP. Depending on the tier and depending on the spec that you have with this, your heal might be more or less, but it still heals you every single time you deal direct damage. Now, direct damage is considered an auto attack. Dot damage is not direct damage. So for example, look at this. If I activate this, I'm going to do direct damage when I hit. Boom. But that's it. Every single time this thing hits. See that? It hit. It did not heal me. I need to actually do and like I need to actually go in and smack the mob myself. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Uh, but with the amount of auto attacks that you're going to be doing, it's not going to be a problem to uh, take full advantage of this. Then you have the... Oh, and the same passive. Balance Mind is the same passive. O almost always you want to use that passive. Now you have Soldier Boots. Depending on what you encounter in the mists or in the open world, because this is also a pretty good open world build, uh, not as good as for mists, but still decent. Depending on what you meet, you might want to swap from the second F, which is the main one that you want to be on. This increases your move speed and heals you a little bit to the third F. If you're using... Um, uh, soldier boots oh and by the way i think i forgot to say the name of this it's mercenary jacket this hunter hood and those are soldier boots what this does it increases your move speed like crazy and it's probably one of the one of the best getaways that you have in this game because even though initially you're not going to move very fast this move speed increase will take you very and i mean very far just look at this and you progressively move faster and faster and faster. You mainly want to use this for targets that you feel like are going to run. And trust me when I say targets are going to run. If you fight against a Kaira or somebody that generally has more mobility than you have, you want to swap with this. However, as a default, it's a good idea to stick with this. But let's do some simple stuff and then we're going to get to the weapon, which is rather complicated, but not like it's not a complicated weapon, but it's it requires a little bit more explaining. You have as an offhand the Muisak. Pretty tough uh, to get offhand as it's pretty expensive, but it's very good for what it can do. You could also replace this with a torch uh, like as the cheapest option or a mist caller. That's an in-between option. What the Muisak does, as you can see right here, it increases your attack bonus, your magical attack bonus, physical attack bonus, magical ability bonus, ability cast reduction. That's the main, one of the main things that you want to use this for. It decreases your cooldowns and the most important part, healing cast bonus this paired up with mercenary jacket go together like i don't know sauce on pizza like you cannot separate those two things they're so good together you just cannot have one without the other then you want to have mat locate this increases your resistances when you fall below a certain hp threshold which is very good considering like just think about the synergy that you have right now so you get below 50 percent this props it increases your resistances, your defensives by 50%. You're 25% HP, all right? You put this on, increase your resistance even further. You are un I'm not really unkillable, but hard to kill right now. And on top of this, you start healing yourself. You see where this is going and you see why this build offers you so many mistakes without punishing you for any of them or barely punishing you for any of them. And now we get to the fun stuff. Now we get to the fun stuff, the curse staff itself. For the curse staff, you want to use the first Q. What does this do? First of all, deals damage. Every Every single time uh, you gonna use this you're gonna deal direct damage on top of that it also applies what's called a vile curse 
charge. This is your main source of dot damage. And it's also your main source of direct damage when it comes to the E, but we're getting there. What you want to do with this, you want to spam it as often as you can. Make sure you also auto attack. You don't want to primarily focus on auto attacks, but try to auto attack whenever you get the chance and always use your Q. Like just spam your Q and make sure you squeeze in some auto attacks in there as well. Then you have this W. This is the default W. You might want to swap it depending on the situation, but generally this is what you want to stay on. Release a demonic beam in the targeted direction, dealing 431 damage. So again, a damage damage dealing ability and the most important part reduces damage resistances by 50%. Now why is this important? This is important because of how your E works. I'm gonna come back to the W after I explain the E. Place a death curse on the targeted enemy and after 0.1 seconds so you basically have a little bit of a short cast time keep that in mind you can be interrupted with this you deal magical damage based on the amount of vile curse charges now you start seeing the synergy check this out if you manage to properly cue your opponent he probably has four vile stack uh, stack charges so he's gonna take 1.7 k damage just for reference look at my hp right now that damage will cripple me if i don't defend against it but you see, if I defend against it with something like Hunter Hood, let's say, or a resistance potion, which just boosts my resistance, well, that's why I have this W. You boost your resistance as a person targeted by this E, you boost your resistance, and then I reduce your resistance with my W back to square zero or close to square zero. That way, I make sure that my E just goes through. The only thing that you need to watch out for are hard defensives, such as Cleric Owl, such as Cleric Grove. Those are the only things that you cannot hit through. But guess what you can do? you can bait them. You can bait them by not using your E. Just Q's and W's, Q's and W's, or maybe sacrifice one of the E, but without using your W. Just try to bait your enemy defenses. You can do things like that, even with your E straight up, because your E is on a very, very, and I mean very low cooldown. Oh, there's another little bit of a problem that you might run into, but not a lot of people are using it nowadays, the Guardian Helmet. The Guardian Helmet uh, can purge those stacks. The Guardian Helmet can really mess you up. But not a lot of people have Guardian Helmet, so you shouldn't really worry about that. Talking about what people have, let's check out the current meta. Let's check out the current meta and just see what people are using in high ranking PvP. Let's go in high rank and let's see the most used builds. Now keep in mind, this also keeps track of crafted dungeons and mists and stuff like that. So it's not just mists, but it, this gives you a good, uh, a good uh, idea. Okay, so this build right here the cursed skull. How do you deal with the cursed skull? Well, this guy is going to be able to do somewhat of the same thing. As you can see, it has the exact same build, just a different weapon. The way this works differently compared to your weapon is that the E is an AoE and uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't get reflected. It's just honestly not keeping track of any systems of the game. It just goes through whatever reflects uh, without getting reflected. So with this, what you want to be doing, you want to keep your distance. Beaming your opponent would be more than enough. They don't have any hard defensives except this, which you want to keep in mind it's not really a hard defense but it increases the resistance basically how the fight with this guy is going to go you're both going to queue each other like crazy you're going to have a range advantage on the w so you're going to be able to start the fight with an advantage and keep your opponent in combat while he's trying to run away let's say or before he approaches you're both going to queue each other normally they're on uh, desecrate uh, on a grudge sorry normally they're on grudge you might want to swap to grudge as well but honestly i think you might be much better off if you stay on your setup and just try to get your Q stacks, get your E run. Get your Q stacks, get your E run. In between Q stacks, always use your beam and that's about it. It's gonna be a tough fight though. It's gonna be a tough fight because they do a lot of damage and they're just as resistant as you. Next fight. For this fight, what you wanna be doing, it's kinda simple. What you wanna be doing, you just wanna swap to this ability right here. Basically, every single time you're fighting against a Kyra, not always, but at least every single time you wanna think about swapping to this. You're not always gonna wanna swap to this, but you wanna think about, hmm, do I wanna swap? Do I have enough damage? Does he have resistances that he have so for example this guy has a lot of resistances this guy that you see right here has a lot of resistances this boost resistance this boost resistance if he pass those two together he's gonna mess you up on top of that the curse staffs the frost staff sorry have an iframe w the third w is also an iframe if they're really good players they're gonna know how to use that so you wanna avoid that this fight honestly i would say you avoid you can win it if you manage to bait his defenses but it's hard it's a very very hard fight what's not a hard fight however is this one right here the fight with dead givers is honestly not a dead fight they're gonna do uh, not a hard fight they're gonna do a lot of damage you're gonna be able to kite them with your w and whenever they get to a point in which i mean look at this guy this guy doesn't even have defensives so basically the only thing that you want to keep in mind with this fight is that his undead cape will proc and you want to make sure you have an e on them when that happens so they don't escape other than that yeah you got them now somewhat of a more problematic fight would be this one because of the mistwalker jacket that's a hard defense oh that's another example that i forgot to give the mistwalker jacket 
yeah, you're gonna have to bait that. Usually what they're gonna do, they're gonna reset your Q stacks with that. So uh, it's gonna be a big deal, but not the biggest deal. And keep in mind, it's still dead givers, you can still kite them. That's kind of the thing, but enough talking about this build, let's bring it in some action. Shall we? Let's bring it in some action. Nice, no. nice, 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 nice. This guy's dismounted. Let's fight, my friend. I kind of messed up over there. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. He dead, he dead. You see this chat? You see this chat? This build is insane. This build is insane. One million silver ride like this. I want him to dismount me. Ah, I missed that. I might actually die here. Oh no, I won't, I won't. I won't because I have the stupid cape. Let's go. Yo, I missed my W. I missed my W. That was a big miss. Because I relied a lot on the W. That's why I wanted to get low. I was like, okay, this guy is going to attack. Then boom and E. But man, that was close. I missed my W. He realized. Oh no, he realized. Oh no, oh no, now he sees it. Pop, 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 my friend. And that's how you go. You just pop. Okay, this guy is on me as well. I'm so mad that I don't have my F now. Come on, where you at, mysterious stranger? Just give me 19 seconds. Perfect, perfect, stay in combat. That's perfect, that's perfect. He doesn't realize it. Ah, oh, man, I need to get low. I need to get low. Please attack me like a few more times. Come on, attack me. Nice, nice. Oh no, I'm dying over here. Oh, danger, danger, stranger, danger. Oh no, oh no, this guy is killing me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, such a strong guy. Oh, how is he killing me? Oh, what happened? Oh, oh what? You didn't die? Okay, okay, you're gonna die. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me what I need. Give me what I need. Give me my, 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 my W. Perfect, 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 perfect. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Oh, that! Ah, oh, man, the weapon trashed, but still, let's go! <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, and there it is. I'm gonna try. He's gonna pop! He's gonna pop! Boom! Let's go, Big Silver! Woo! 700k! Right there in the bank, baby! Let's go! I cannot hold any more items. I don't have any more items to hold. Watch us play live on twitch.tv slash mockdown. This video was made possible by our amazing channel members. If you want to support by becoming a channel member yourself, you are going to get access to amazing emotes that you can use in the comment section or during live streams, member-only polls, and lots of other awesome perks. Shout out to all of you awesome badasses. Thank you so much for supporting us.